Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to be creating a button and tekinter in order to control the LED light through our Arduino. So um, I'm using Python 2.7, so it might be slightly different in Python 3 and above, but I'm going to import tekinter like this. And um, I think there's no capital letters in Python 3 and there's some subtle other differences that you'll have to possibly look up. But um, yeah, if you haven't watched my previous video, which is where this came from, then I've got it linked below and it's probably to the side somewhere as well. Um, you should probably watch that quickly if you don't know what this is about. Otherwise, um, this is going to be our Arduino code. And all we're saying here is we're reading the serial port and we're saying if it's one, we're going to turn the LED on. And if it's a zero, we're going to um, turn the LED off. So that's pretty simple. Um, if you haven't got that done, you might want to pause it quickly and just get it. So um, the first thing we need to do when we use Tekinter always is to create the window. And I'm going to call it the LED control window. And that's in Python 2.7, it's going to be equal to Tekinter or TKinter, whatever you prefer to say, dot TK. And then we also need to um, close it. So we need to call that main loop. So those are the two things you always need in a in a, when you're creating a GUI of Tekinter. Right, so we're only going to be creating a couple of buttons. So I am just going to quickly create a button. So it's going to be button is going to be equal to Tekinter.button, which is one of the attributes, I guess. And we're going to create a button which is going to be equal to to hang on one second like that so always put your you need to put the um window in here and then our text and the button is going to be on i'm going to leave that with a space because off is gonna just so the button looks a bit nicer because off is obviously three characters not two and then we also need to use this need to do command equals and then this is going to be our LED on button and we don't need the open and close brackets so don't put that let's create another button so that's that's our button sorted really simple and our next button is going to be let's actually use whoops I didn't mean to do that and our text is going to be off and our command is going to be LED off, which is this function here. So that's quite simple. So all we need to do now quickly is lay it out. I am going to use the grid method, although you can use pack, it doesn't really matter. So let's do button grid and we're going to do row equals zero, column, whoops, size, column equals one. So we're just going to stick it in the first column, although that could be zero as well. It doesn't actually really matter, but just yeah. But if if you don't know how to do to come you can always look up some other tutorials, or I can make some if you request it. I don't mind, but this really the focus of this video is actually just to create a button which controls the LED through the Arduino rather than the Tekinter tutorial itself. So now we want it on the next row, so it's going to be underneath the first button. And we need to spell it the American way. So that looks right. I'm just going to bring this up. So I don't believe I've got any mistakes there, so I am going to go back to the Arduino file and I am going to compile it and I'm going to upload it. So that's all done. Our button is off. Sorry, our LED is off. So let's click F5. There's an invalid error in your problem in your thingy. Okay, so what's right? So I forgot my equal sign here. Let's try that again. Cast TK has no attribute TK. That needs to be a Wait, where did I say that? Sorry, let me just check that mistake again. 
Lion. Let's see. Sorry, give me a second to solve this. So we've got an error on this line, which I haven't worked out what it is. Can't see any errors. So we've got LED control window equals to kinter.tk. Oh, right, yes. I realize what mistake we've made. Bear with me. Okay, that should solve it. So now we should have our buttons. And let's click on. And LEDs on, click off, LEDs off. So we know that works. That works really well. Anyway, I think you get the point. <laughs> well, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope that video was useful. Um, yeah, join me in the next video. Thank you.